we'll see how the losers run goes. You definitely have a lot of big names and losers. Yo, it's right unreal. Now. Here's one thing. The thing that was crazy about the set with uh, Dilbro and uh, Fancy G's yeah. was Dilbro actually made one of the smartest reads I've ever seen. He was talking to me about this this morning. He said, you know, as soon as we beat Fancy Samus, he's going to change to Falcon. So we want to make sure that when we beat him, it's on Yoshi's. So when he does it, when he busts out that Falcon, it's not on Yoshi's. And uh, they ended up doing that. They forced to pick the Yoshis. They beat a Samus, and yep. then the Falcon came out on a worse stage, and that ended up pretty much, you know, giving them such a huge Really advantage. smart, yeah. yeah. That's unreal. I think this is going to be a really interesting set. Um, yeah. This is crazy. I, I think this kind of rides on how, how well Cabbage was playing today. Yeah. Because um, the, the rightmost three players are, like, some of our, like, highest quality players here in NL. I would I would say the Cabbage is in the lower tier, but still a super solid, respectable player. Yeah, yeah. And he if has... he's playing on point, then we're going to see a fantastic set. Yeah, I think, I hate to put a lot of pressure on him, but this is really in his hands here, oh, how yeah. this set goes. It's almost totally up to Cabbage here. I hate to put the pressure on him, <laughs> but, but this set is just going to put the pressure on him anyways. Yeah, so. yeah, it's not like he has a choice but to feel the pressure yeah, of this for immense, real. immense set that's about to take place for sure dude all right let's see where they go they're going to final destination fist bumps are exchanged and this is the beginning of something beautiful so we're actually seeing the samus come out immediately which is odd that they struck to fb you know um yeah because I'm not liking easily i mean I, I would say that yoshi's definitely uh more dis disadvantageous for Samus, but this definitely isn't a great alternative. Yo, well, in my opinion, this ends up being kind of a bad pick for both Sheik and Samus. I hate... Everything. Yeah, I think, I, I think this is a terrible pick for... <laughs> I, I mean, like, where else could you have gone in the, in the striking? I don't um, know. I think they're... I feel like, like even if Battlefield... Maybe they struck Battlefield. You like Battlefield, you don't happened. like Pokemon that much, you don't like FD much, you don't like Yoshi's much. So yeah, I, I guess you'd be forced to go to either Yoshi's, Pokemon... Or uh, FD. I think I'd rather even Yoshi's. Uh, I know two foxes is really rough. It's hard but to the say. Volatility. But actually, looking at the match now, yeah. Um, blue team actually having a bit of a lead, which is definitely not what I'd expect going into it. Um, cabbage yeah. down one stock. M3K holding Still his, on his stock fourth. So far. Yeah, 97 percent, but that's not too bad. Yo, that crouch cancel from Samus is gonna actually take Cabbage's second stock here, and M3K still at four. Nice eight. I think that was a. Uh, it was either a crouch cancel or ASDI down, but it was really okay. good anyways. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he just avoids that up tilt, but does get caught out anyways. That's Mike's first stock taken off. Sorry, M3K. There are two Mikes now. Yeah, that's Yo, true. M3K actually SDI. Oh, yeah, I forgot G's, G's entered his dirty Mike. Yeah, dirty Mike in the such boys. Such a quality tag. <laughs> I love it. Uh, M3K displaying a lot of really good uh, SDI against Sheik. Sheik was jabbing, and every time M3K got hit, he SDI'd in and then shined him. So okay. that was beautiful. Huh? Nice, good stuff. Yeah. Ooh, oh and wow! Fair is yeah, catch stray M3K. fair catching M3K. Yo, and that actually might be it. Those needles are gonna do a lot of work here. See if you can clean that up, and yep, yeah, that's gonna be it with the runoff fair. Um, Kev tries to run in to clean up his yeah, stock in order to beautiful. punish, but he doesn't get anything out Just of it. Just a little late, yeah. Up, up he had a shield, shield from Fancy, fancy. ends up into being an up smash. Let's go. All right, let's see what. This is uh, kind of Jesus' time here. If he wants to make something big happen, he could take another stock off Cabbage here. And that would be a huge lead. And then yep, there he's going to do just that. Yeah, absolutely. So that's four stocks to three now. Actually, a lot less of a lead than I had assumed. Ooh. One Yo. thing that's nice that you see from Mike is that he's really not giving uh, Fancy much room to breathe, not giving him room to, to charge his charge shots. Yeah, no, absolutely. And this is such a good matchup. Like, Fancy loves... Spaces as oh Sam's, yeah, right? but like yo, Mike has learned this matchup and he's doing considerably better yeah. than even the last few times we've seen him in singles. Uh, of course, barring you know the last major performance where he did make that upset. Yeah. Oh, the up throw. He's gonna follow for the up air, but yeah, unfortunately, yo, due to Samus's low hit lag, not much gonna happen. Oh, but the up wow. smash. Up Good he had a shield. speed from Mike there. Yeah, up he had a shield is such a good move unless you whiff it, and then it is such a bad move. <laughs> Um, we'll see. Yeah, not possible to see. No, yeah, there. that's all you really can do in that wow. situation. I He's really like that target up. switching there from M3K go. there. So two so, stocks. Yeah, he has two stocks to, to take out Sam, uh, Fancy's one on FD, so I think this is super doable considering yeah, this is uh, this is definitely disadvantageous for Samus in the matchup. Tries to go for, like, the juiciest mid-short in, in Yeah, in that was life. beautiful. All right, this is suddenly looking a lot better for Fancy here, though. You know, if I if I was fancy right now, I'd be like, okay, I just had two stocks. Now I have one. Like, yeah. This is so easy for me. 
me. I'm I'm the god of NL, you know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's definitely possible. I've yeah. I've no doubt. But Mike has you know done his research on this match, and he kind of understands that on the ledge, Fancy has so many attack options. He can ledge dash into you know crouch cancel down smash. He can hit that you know the ledge hop yeah. fair. The thing is, he has the percentage advantage, so he doesn't need to, to do anything safe or super unsafe like oh, like that. And the regrab to the like charge that. shot. Fancy with an amazing punish, racking up 64% so far. Beautiful. Um, but however, like, if my, if M3K gets a drill and Fancy does an SDI out of it, that's it. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Wow, that's there gonna do go. it! Fancy having a clutch 1v1 against yeah, M3K. Yeah, no, that was unreal. And that really I think in down. hindsight, really, Cabbage probably should have taken that stock. Yeah, but um, see, I really trusted it. The, the, the unfortunate part of that was Mike let Fancy do his thing at the ledge. I think as, as much as it sucks, yeah, like, he's on the ledge. This is your opportunity to edge guard. Fancy literally hit him, I think, four or five times yeah. just from the ledge. He should have just let him have it at that point, I think. Fancy has plot armor confirmed. <laughs> Yo, true. Compared to Mike, unfortunately. See, if Fancy's gonna win it all, this is what he needs to do. And he's tilted. I think a tilted Fancy is a dangerous thing for an L. Man, I don't know though. Til tilted Fancy can like, I don't know, I, I feel like it's still a, a, a force to reckon with for sure. Exactly. I, I remember watching Tilted Fancy against uh, against Mittens when he was playing Ganondorf and Yo. just taunting every like, <laughs> after like every aerial. Yeah. That was nuts. Yeah, no, I can imagine. So we're seeing a pretty even kind of bout right now. At Cabbage first, yeah. up at high percent and uh, G's up at high percent or Dirty yeah, yeah. Mike. That's Dirty Mike's first stop. <laughs> Yo, it's going to be really hard not to call him Dirty Yeah, Mike. I'm probably just going to be calling him G's. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, let's see how this goes. M3K with the reverse wave shine there. Fancy tries Cabbage to be up the edge with shield. like a super questionable charge up smash. <laughs> yeah, but hey, sometimes you gotta go for those. Oh, All right. there we go. That and was a, that was a not questionable charge yeah, no. up smash. Maybe he was practicing. <laughs> yeah. Like, All right, he we're... was looking five seconds into the future, and he was like, "Oh, I really gotta get ready for this juicy up smash." <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Fancy with a nice nair there. Uh, M3K looking to come back in and start the punish. The wave shine happens. He does follow up grab there. Well, Fancy manages to get back up. He up these. Doesn't catch a ledge. Oh, and that grab is unfortunately going to put him into a good punish. Yeah. But uh, G's actually doing a good job of edge guarding uh, Kev while simultaneously staying safe, but ends yeah. up losing a stop. In the meantime, Fancy, you know, uh, M3K was beating Fancy up pretty hard, but G's was just kind of taking the stock of his teammate there. So yeah. Uh, M3K stock tanking such an insane amount. Yeah. Two minutes in and still hasn't lost his first stop. Ooh, but as uh, we that, say yeah, that, there you go. yeah, off the top by the nice back air from G's. My favorite term to describe a back air. <laughs> There's no other term. It's nice or it's not nice. Truth. Oh, up, oh, up Ooh, tilt okay. instead of up smash. I actually understand. I don't think Sam is quite at kill percent there. So the up tilt kind of made sense. I don't know. I I, I think they just thought he wasn't going to go as high. And yeah. that he was going to be able to lead in with the up air. True, true. Ooh, and the wave shine up smash. M3K looking crisp. Yo, and G's just ledge stall until his partner gets back. And Fancy here to kind of try and save his opponent or his, uh, his boy. Wow, Fancy doing a really good job of just punishing any fox that uh, that comes off of the, the rightmost third of the, the stage. Yeah, absolutely. He was and doing that's kind of what Samus does best, man. right? Samus is a corner player, so he's yeah. kind of generally going to be he's going to be wanting to be closer to the center of the stage when yeah. the foxes are at the edge. Yeah, you see Fancy doing a really good job of just kind of controlling space and then going in to help out his teammate when he needs to. He's yeah. super aware of uh, of the, when his teammate's in trouble, which which is kind of the foundation for good dunks play. Oh, that up tilt and fair. Monsters. That's going to do it. Fancy taunts. Fancy taunts the taunt. All right, all right. That's fair. I, I think that's a deserved taunt. But, uh, we got don't G's, let it, yeah, uh, it charge and charge shot. Yep. Charge in some of I those. mean, that's so hard when you have a 2v1 with one of them being Samus, is that you, you can't leave the Samus alone. Yeah, no, exactly. You kind of have to beat them both up at the same time. Yeah. And, you know, Mike is at, or M2K doing a really good job right now. And, but. yeah, now G is able to slow it down a bit. Gets a dash attack on Fancy, but yeah, that's not going to matter. Smash. Yeah. This is, he's going to hold edge. Fancy's going to come up with an air instead of the charge shot, which is an interesting choice considering. Yeah, uh, they still clean it up. Yeah, obviously. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, at that point, you, you're two stocks up. You can have a bit of fun, I guess. Yeah, so. Fancy and G's up 2-0. Yeah, and you know, as as good as M3K and Cabbage are playing right now, this is looking a bit hopeless for them. Fancy is playing smooth, and G's is playing 
good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going at here. All right, they're taking it back to stadium. No other choice, yeah, really. Respect. This I is mean, really the only counter pick they, you know, that they, they did want. Yoshi's already happened? Uh, no, Yoshi's hasn't happened yet. See, I, I could respect Yoshi's, but I definitely enjoy Pokemon more in doubles because you still have the low ceiling, so you're still going to exactly. kill quick, and you still have the space, so it's not just chaos. And the fact that Samus's down air covers almost the entire platform oh, with Yoshi's yeah, is yeah. disgusting. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Right. So you got to be really worried about that, I guess, when you're playing that stage. Yo, blue team just kind of had to choose who they wanted to yeah, there, and I and think then they, they made the wrong choice. I don't know. I think they just kind of didn't really commit to either. Yeah, yeah, that's true enough. But I think fancy, you don't really want to edge guard Samus in doubles because all it does is waste your time. And I know with a player as good as fancy, it sucks that you can't clean that stock up. Wow! Jeez, oh, just going in super hard. Oh dirty Mike God. being dirty as hell. Yeah, and he cleans up another stock immediately after. This is the dirtiest I think we've ever seen yeah. Dirty Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, they are actually working together so well today, uh, red team. Yeah, so, I, I never actually got to see them play yesterday, other than I heard that, like, Fancy was super Yeah, yeah. I saw the upset. I saw the upset, and it was beautiful. Yeah, but, it looks like know, they're definitely on point today. I think when you're watching an upset, you don't really focus on how good the other wow, team is. Wow, good shine out shield there from Cabbage, but Ooh. he's going to get uh, Pineapple. Yeah, the absolutely. And simultaneously, M3K does stake the stock off Dirty Mike, but, uh, you know... It's, it's one of those things where I've seen time and time again, a lot of the time, blue team is tending to go for the fights rather than saving each other. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunate miss let, um, air dodge from uh, M3K. Takes a stock, and then the forward Damn, air. Damn, and then now they're up 5-3. to three. It's looking yeah, like a rough this go is, for blue team. This is getting... The window of their opportunity is getting smaller and smaller as the, the uh, 30... You know, grows ever more yeah, likely. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to see a hat. You don't. No one wants to get You don't want to see the boys oh! go out like that. <laughs> I thought Dirty Mike was going to hit a sick back air on both of oh, them. Oh, man, he could have. <laughs> that would have been the coolest this thing on the planet. Super unsafe uh, Yo, <laughs> Firefox there from Cabbage. I'll be honest, this is actually kind of looking like the G Show. He is beating both of these foxes yeah. up too I, I, hard. Well, I think it's just that Fancy is kind of doing what, what he's supposed to be doing as a yeah, Samus. He's playing doubles. Samus. So he's controlling well. space really well, and he's, he's helping out G's when he's in trouble. He's but just, G's just isn't in trouble much. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. All right. M3K, if you've ever taken four stocks, M3K has four stocked a bunch of people, you know? He does it on the daily, I'm sure. Fancy, just kind of chill now, waiting for uh, waiting for G's to toss a, toss the fox over to him to let Ooh. him have some fun. Yo, this could be... I, I want to see Fancy take one stock. I know this is unlikely. <laughs> I know, I, but I wish. Yo, here we go. That's, oh, what, all right. that's, so, that's what Fancy can be wow, proud okay. of today. Mike actually going in. Ooh. Trying to fish for an up air. I mean, if he were to do I this, he just it. okay. So Mike just can't tech towards Samus now. Yeah, exactly. Which is he has huge the in terms of uh, in terms of Sheik just being able to read what way he's going to tech yeah. every time. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh uh, transformation might actually slow this two v one up a bit. We're gonna see. Yes! Wow, M three K dive one into the pit and piece. bringing it down to one stock apiece. He's slowly making this this two v one happen. I mean, down in the pit, he can survive here from a, for a long time. Yeah, absolutely. If, if people want to play text, with him. If he hits his techs and these guys are foolish enough to say, you know, we have this. Let's just go pit fight like, him, right? Like, Sheik's at 60%. Yeah. I mean, a couple more straight hits, and you, that's like up smash percent off the top. Yeah, absolutely. This is so scary. Though. Wow, like, okay, he can do this here. I mean, he's making the 2v1 happen bit by bit. Yo, that was so smart. Trying to focus down Sheik in order to take that stock right away because it's... And to make this happen, double jab. He gets the dash attack. Uh, that's way off stage. I don't think he's going to be able away. to recover here. Oh, and that's, that's going to do it. it. What a, a really commendable attempt. effort yeah. there from uh, M3K and the 2v1. Able to clean up two stocks and some more. Yeah, yeah. If I've ever seen a 1v1 or a 2v1 that good, it, it hasn't been in a while. That was intense. Yeah, for sure. It, so, it hasn't been since Vengril M3K. Are we just seeing a few losers' finals right away, or are we going to loser 